This is Christina on site at the Census Gas Manufacturing Facilities. We want to know if residential gas manufacturing at Census is anything more than business as usual. Or are they pushing toward the next generation of smart gas meters? So set the stage for me, what is made here? This is where all the census gas products are made. We make a host of gas regulators and gas meters for the commercial and industrial and residential lines. We've been here since 1936. What's really gonna set us apart is the differences that we've made in quality improvements and automation improvements. We'll be walking in the R275 line right now. That is the main assembly area, proving, water tests, and final assembly and pack out of the R275. So what type of meters are we assembling here? We're assembling our R275 diaphragm meter. It's our flagship meter. We manufacture a little over a million meters a year in this process. And while we've been at it a very long time, we are always looking for continuous process improvement. So what's the effect of a process improvement like that? It helps us to process the meters more rapidly. It allows for better accuracy. And the big improvement with this process was an ergonomic flow so that the employees don't have to handle the meters near as much. Here's a great example of one of the process improvements we've put in place. We've taken 63 bell provers and we've replaced them with approximately a third of the sonic nozzle provers. Welcome to the proving room. Meters come in off the main line and introduce into our acclimation system. We monitor the temperature there into the prover itself. The meter comes in, the test starts automatically. The operators have no time to pick up a meter. All they're going to do is adjust it. The number of adjustments are there, it's a suggestion. And after that, they'll do that, hit the button, goes into the prover. They never have to touch it after that. If it's good, the screen goes green and out to the rest of the line. If in the event that we have a uh, rejected meter for whatever case, it goes into our rework bench and it has to be repaired before it can go into the rest of the line. Using these sonic nozzle proofs, we've actually brought our adjustments down more than half for where we were with the bells. Well, we are clearly talking about a different type of meter here. You got it. This is our ultrasonic meter. It's our Sonics 880. There's no moving parts, totally solid state, nothing that needs repair. Uh, it's just going to be the way of the future. And that's where our Sonics IQ is going to come in. Let's get a closer look at gas meter innovation. This is where the Sonics IQ meter is manufactured and tested. Ultrasonic technology offers a high level of precision, which results in very accurate gas measurement. Along the way, we've learned a lot, and that has given us the expertise to develop a single path residential ultrasonic meter with communications that fits right into our FlexNet system the Sonics IQ meter. What's different about the Sonics IQ? For starters, you don't have to cobble together a lot of separate devices to create the same functionality. Here we have a residential diaphragm meter and you have to bolt on the radio. If you want remote gas shutoff, you actually have to plumb in a separate device. If you want pressure monitoring, it's still another device. The Sonics IQ meter rolls all of that into one package. Keep in mind that it is still a meter with a whole host of features built into it. Some of those features include theft detection, 20-year battery life, 90-day hourly data log, and a whole host of health checks and diagnostic continuously monitoring the health of the meter. As you may have noticed, the Sonics meter is about half the size of a traditional uh, residential diaphragm yes. meter. That allows installation in tight spaces, meter closets, as well as um, meter banks in high-rise apartment buildings. So we're now at the Census Gas Test Lab, where I hear the Sonics IQ is put through its paces. That's right, Christina. You'll see our gas meters go through the Sonic Nozzle Proving Station as well as our leak detection machines. After we test our mirrors in various ways, stressing them by mechanical drops, vibrations, chemical exposure, salt fog spray, we need to make sure they're still reading accurately and they haven't developed any leaks. We have two methods of detecting leaks. We have the helium leak detector, which places the meter in a chamber, sucks all the air out of it, and fills the meter with helium and then we use a mass spectrometer to see if there are any helium particles outside of the meter, which would indicate that there's a leak. 
It's a very reliable and repeatable way of determining where the leak is, but it doesn't show you where it's coming from. For that, we need to use our bubble leak detection system. In that test, we put the meter underwater and fill it with pressurized air. When we see bubbles come out of the meter, we know exactly where the leak is coming from. So I'd have to say, this one is fiction. Census clearly respects the gas industry's traditions. It helped create them, and it continues to improve them. But we've also seen how Census innovates, creating a new future called Smart Gas. Guess there's no rest for the weary.